Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. I'm so excited to welcome this show with Julie Jolie. You make life just a little more beautiful so every nice single to meet day. You. Thank you guys. You look beautiful, your name is beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> so on brand because as the founder of International Heels, mm -hmm. right? It's your mission to make the world a little bit more beautiful exactly. without the price tag. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> so tell us about your blog. Okay, so it's a blog for um, fashionable mommies. Um, Yes, um, we talk everything about love, uh, fashion, mommy problems, relationship problems, just anything, <laughs> anything that's important to women. <laughs> so we'd love to hear your story. We know that you know so many women out there want to be bloggers, they want to be in the lifestyle and laptop and doing all this online stuff, but I know it's not an easy journey. So tell us a little bit about the things you've had to overcome to get there. It's very hard, hard nowadays because Everybody started 10 years ago, and I decided <laughs> to do it three years ago. So there's a lot of us nowadays. So you really have to be very persistent. You have to do uh, advertise where, way more. Um, just do it way harder than everybody else. Isn't it almost like, would you say it's without capital, would you say it's impossible? What would that be like for someone out there? Um, I did it on very low budget, so I think it is still possible. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just harder. I think every, people think, oh, it's so easy. I write a little bit in the morning for five minutes. I take two pictures and it's done. But no, there's so much you need to edit. I did my website myself. I did my store myself. Uh, I just have to do everything myself. So you have like 10 jobs in one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you feel like um, makes your work and your platform different from other people's? Um, well, first of all, it's different because I'm from another country, so um, a lot of my followers are international, um, and they are inspired because it's probably harder for me than it is for somebody else to make it. First of all, I'm writing in English, it's not my first language. <laughs> what is your first language? Um, Russian German. I was born in Russia, but raised in Germany, so. How long have you lived here? Um, like seven years now. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that journey for you. Um, that was very, I mean, I just decided to come here. I didn't know anything about laws or how to do it. And everybody in Germany was like, oh my God, are you crazy? <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't just emigrate in, into America. It's not so easy. So it took me a long, long time. I had to waitress, hostess, uh, live in a room with a roommate, like in one room with my best friend. Uh, and I was living in New York first, so New York is even harder. It's like one of the toughest cities, I mm -hmm. think, <laughs> to make it. And yeah, it was just really, really hard. Um, and it started getting better when I moved here to LA and started setting better goals. First I was like, oh, you know, let me see what happens. I was like going with the flow and didn't really know what to do. And when I came here, I was like, okay, now I gotta move my uh, and um, <laughs> well, and you've, you've done it and you've really you've mastered living a, a very beautiful life you've got some great tips on how to do that mm -hmm. on a budget so let's talk about that yeah so I mean I think you don't need to spend much money to look glamorous and pretty and there is a couple of tips always look at the material I think that's one of the most important things polyester uh, doesn't look that great for example but if you do fall leather it always looks expensive everybody thinks oh my god it's a five thousand dollar dress um what else pearls i think is important mm -hmm. if you um, can invest in one thing i would invest in expensive shoes or purse because <laughs> if you're wearing leather tops everybody's gonna think oh my god she yeah. is i think that a lot of yeah. women um you know, with the blogging and the filters and the this and that, and the lifestyle that people are seeing, I think that a lot of the young women in particular are needing, they're needing relatability. They're needing leaders that are, that are being vulnerable in their mm -hmm. own personal story. Yeah. Do you do that? How do you, how do you become vulnerable with your viewers? You try to tell the truth and show them how it is. And, um, as a mommy, I mean, we all know how hard that is. Mm -hmm. And you cannot always look glamorous and pretty. And it's just about what you think and what you want to do. Um, yeah. yeah. So what is your mission? <sighs> My mission is to 
empower women, um, empower mommies, and empower people who come here. And I, I'm saying this, everything is possible. Even if it's your second language. I mean, I wrote a book. <laughs> so it's if, amazing. Yeah, yes. yeah, in a second language. So you can do it. You can do anything you want. English is my first language, and I struggle every day. And <laughs> no, I'm not right? even joking. I, I literally do. I'm yeah. like, really? Right. It's hard like, enough to come up with a creative caption for Instagram. Exactly. You know, exactly. I'm book in another language. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. So you are a star that way. Oh, thank it's you. Really impressive. Nice. Very impressive. It's Congratulations. Nice. Tell people where they can find you and your store. So my store is called Julia Jolie Beverly Hills. You can just Google it. And uh, Instagram is International Hills is, um, and the blog too. So yeah, follow me. Well, well thank you so much, Julie, for being thank here. Thank you. Yeah. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more at the Morning Wildland.